So, some crazy news today. Microsoft have introduced something called Microsoft Loop, and it is a Notion-like clone that we'll be exploring in today's video. We're going to talk about how it works, the three elements that they've added, and also a little bit more in context to how it competes against the likes of Notion. So if you're brand new to this channel, it'd be amazing to have you. So please do subscribe as we talk about plenty of productivity apps and resources. And you can join over on our Medium as well, where we talk about some great topics in the future of productivity. So Microsoft Loop is a new Office app, and it's designed for the hybrid workplace. They recently released it at one of their events. I believe it was Ignite. And Microsoft Loop is an aiming to help you think, plan, and create together. And it describes itself as a powerful and flexible canvas with portable components that move freely and helps you stay in sync across applications. Now, they're essentially trying to uh, bring in what Notion are doing at the moment with their wonderful work. But as you can imagine, Microsoft definitely want to take the top spot for this application. So as you can see, it's very simply a Notion-like design, but it has three core elements behind it. It's got loop components, loop pages, and loop workspaces. Let's start with loop components. Now, many people who have been in this community have learned about Microsoft Fluid. Well, essentially, this is an evolution of the Fluid components, and they're bringing it into the Microsoft Loop ecosystem. So Microsoft Loop components are basically these interactive live elements that can be shared across other applications. We've seen this inside of Microsoft Teams, and you can even add this to things like OneNote and Outlook as well. Now, Microsoft Loop components are really interactive, and they do a few already, but they're adding three more in today's update. The first is a voting table, so you can collaborate in with teams in real time to drive consensus and finalize decision making. A new status tracker that can help gather information for your team tracking progress on a certain project and keeping up to date in real time. And you've also got the ability to share projects as well, and this is something that really does uh, go a lot deeper, being able to share an entire project view. Now with these loop components, the new additions in particular, they're definitely pushing to try and take on the likes of Coda, as in making a new uh, way to be able to view and manage your projects in real time. The next update inside of this release is Loop Pages, and this is where they take on Notion, and it's a flexible canvas for you to organize those live components, but also a place for you to share files, links, and data, and collaborate in real time. Now, to be honest, when I was looking at the preview for this, it looked really messy. I don't know whether it was a demonstration of the marketing pieces, but people commenting, sharing emojis and moving in real time was very stressful to watch. But I'm sure when they actually release it, it won't look at this high level of detail and they're probably just demonstrating how it works. But loop pages probably will be the feature that takes on Notion the most. But to be honest, in its early stages, it's nothing too comparable to the application. Now moving to the final element that Loop has released and it's Loop Workspaces. And these are essentially shared spaces that allow you and your team to group everything important to your project. Now this means you can bring everything together in one place, but that left-hand side with the pages area, you can basically see all of these live elements and create spaces for your team to be able to get everything in one go. And it's quite decent if you're very aggressively into the whole Microsoft ecosystem because you can bring everything in one location to, as, as you can imagine, be able to just coordinate it there. And they're really trying to push the synchronous and asynchronous communication to really bring everything together uh, because they're really pushing for this hybrid environment. Now, they say that Microsoft Loop brings everything together, keeping you and your team productive, and they aim to release the components element this, uh, elements of this across the Microsoft 365 platforms on Teams, Outlook, and OneNote, starting rolling out this month. And they said also, they'll also share availability of the Loop app on its own in the coming months. So it's not even out yet fully. 
TechCrunch is actually calling it the next Google Wave. And as you can imagine, uh, there's a lot of speculation about this application taking on the likes of Notion. And that's probably what I want to talk about, is actually whether this competes with Notion. Now, whilst it does bring in some exciting features like the live components, or previously known as fluid components, which is a really decent feature from Microsoft, and it's definitely something that a lot of people are going to like, it's definitely not taking on Notion in this first version at the least. Yes, it's got a really nice design in terms of their new 11 release and also having um, some really nice um, visuals. But at the same time, it looks like it lacks a lot of the f abilities and databases that Notion do such a good job at. But it's definitely keeping them Notion and Coda on their feet as a potential uh, like competitor in the market for this sort of experience. And Google is so way behind with this, this is probably a good step forward for Microsoft. And I think with the component side, they're doing so great. Now, Microsoft have also uh, released a few more things at this event, like Microsoft Edi Editor uh, with the Context IQ update, uh, ClipChamp, which joins the Office family, and also more additions to the recording studio that is provided in PowerPoint. So there's a huge amount of changes. And what we'll do is we'll make sure to include the link to this uh, full article. Um, Wang Guai Makilvi, uh, general manager of the Microsoft 365 team, shared this update and we'll make sure to include it below. Apologies if I got a pronunciation wrong there. There's also a bit more insight into how it uh, works with the component side of it, which I'll include in the link in the description too. But this is a nice new feature that Microsoft will be adding soon. And as you can imagine, at least it's something they're gonna be doing to sort of take on the challenge of many of these uh, different and new uh, Canvas applications. So a very interesting addition by Microsoft. If you're new here, it'd be honestly great to have you as a subscriber. So please do hit subscribe and uh, feel free to check out some of our other videos. Thank you very much, folks. Make sure to have a great day. Keep productive and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheerio.